The first three verses of the fourth chapter warn the children of God to not believe every spirit, but rather to discern between the spirit of God and the spirit of the Antichrist. These verses explain that every spirit that does not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh is the spirit of the Antichrist. At verse 4, the author again addresses his readers as little children and tells them, Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Verses 5 and 6 further discuss the world, and that there are those who hear it, and those who hear the Apostle John, and those with him. Verses 7 through 16 make up the next section of the letter, which speaks of love at great length. Verses 8 and 16 contain some of the most popular parts of Scripture, with the statement, God is love. The reason this is being written is to encourage the beloved to love one another, because love is from God. At both verses 9 and 10, the fact that God sent His Son is mentioned. From these texts, we learn that we can live through Him, and that He was sent to be the atonement on behalf of our sins. Verses 11 and 12 mention the importance of the brethren loving one another. In relation to this, verses 12 and 13 also refer to abiding in God. At verse 14, the author testifies that Jesus is the Savior of the world. And then in the next verse, he writes about confessing Jesus as the Son of God. In verses 17 through 21, the idea of love is further discussed, this time in relation to the concept of perfect love. Verse 18 teaches that perfect love casts out fear. The need to love one's brother is again stressed in verse 20. The reason for this is that if a child of God says that he loves God and then hates his brother, then he is a liar. The 21st verse ends the chapter with a commandment that he who loves God should also love his brother.